Hello, my friends. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to do something a little different. It has been a very long time since I've done Let's Play content on this channel. I honestly may have even privated all those videos, because when I was first trying to do them, it really wasn't good. I didn't know how to do it in an entertaining way, and maybe I still don't, but we're going to find out. Uh, I think you got a little bit of a glimpse there. I want to do Pokemon! Also, this is happening. That seems wrong. Uh, options. Let's throttle it at 100% frames. Which seems slow? Also, I don't have the sound on. One, I don't know if I'm allowed to, and two... That's not how that's supposed to sound. But anyway, brand new game, Pokemon Red version. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Those people are sick. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? New name, okay. I'm gonna go with... Well, name me... Tim! Alright, so your name is Tim! This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. What is his name again? Uh... This is gonna be dumb. There's not enough spaces for this. <laughs> I just counted the spade. Yes, he is Grandso the Grandson. That's right, I remember now. His name is Grandso. Tim! Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon yada yada whatever. Okay, that frame rate seems wrong. Um... What if we don't throttle? What happens? Okay, this game is running at 3,000% efficiency. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, that's... That's ugly. That's very ugly. BMP format look any different? That looks more like Pokemon. Uh... I promise this wasn't supposed to be the whole video. Yeah, he, he does have a weird tendency to just, like, slide sometimes, but... Okay, that looks more or less right. Maybe I'll have to, like, replay some of this and tweak it if I do a second episode. Which I'd like to do a second episode. These games are super fun. Right! All boys leave home someday! It is said so on TV! Professor Oak next door is looking for you! Tall grass. Hey, wait! Don't go out! It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. I'll give you a gun. Granso. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Granso, let me think. That's right, you are Granso the grandson. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Tim! There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> They're inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose! Go choose, please! Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Granso the Grandson. You can have one, too. Okay, so I did recently play Shield again, and I forgot, like, I don't know how recently they did that. So growing up, I played these ones, which I love, a lot of nostalgia here, and I played Gold, from the Gold to Silver. I think I played a little bit of Crystal. I didn't really get into Gen 3, and then I kind of forgot about the franchise until... Oh, man. Shield? And in S.H.I.E.L.D., your rival picks the worst option given what you chose, which is a weird decision. Um, I'm going to go with Bulbasaur 
for reasons. Oh, yeah, I picked it first try. I didn't know if I would. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So you are to the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur. This, po this Pokemon is really energetic. Tim received a Bulbasaur. Do you want to give it a nickname to Bulbasaur? You know what? It doesn't matter because I'm not keeping it. I'm just making this game harder for myself. <laughs> I'll take this one then. Granso received a Charmander. That Charmander will be the bane of my existence. I have turned the difficulty to high. The reason for that... I'm going to do a bug-type playthrough. Uh, the last time I did a Pokemon playthrough on this channel, um, I did Poison-type. Hey, Granso wants to fight. Um, I'm probably also going to lose this fight, because Charmander starts with Scratch, and everything else starts with Tackle. So, we'll see how this goes, but he has a better offensive attack than me, I think. That could just be confirmation bias, because I've never researched these games. I just played them as a child and listened to the playground rumors about everything. So we're going to find out if any of what I remember about these games is right. Oh, come on, growl one more time. Nope, I died. Uh, what? Okay, cool. I lived. <laughs> I lived. Charmander fainted. Bulbasaur gained 69 EXP points. Bulbasaur grew to level 6. Tim defeated Granso. So here's the deal. I need to run quickly up north. I don't need to worry about leveling up Bulbasaur because I'm not keeping it. Essentially, the rules of a type-dependent playthrough, you pick a type, you can just use that type. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you say it's... Uh... To have something in your team to fight with it, it has to have or be something that will evolve to have the type that you are locked into, right? So for me, that means bugs only. So I'm not going to be able to catch Pidgeys as much as I love them. The exception is you can have HM mules. So if you haven't played these games before, you need hidden machines in order to advance through some parts of the game. Oh, Tim! How is my old Pokemon? Gramps! What did you call me for? All right, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Tim and Granso, take these with you. Okay, I got the Pokedex. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Go! Go now! All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Tim, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Tim. <laughs> okay, I've played this game so many times, I don't need the town map. It's just clutter in my inventory if I take it. So now we're close to being able to actually start the game. Because I can't keep Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is not a bug type. Bulbasaur will never be a bug type. I'm going to have a party of entirely bugs. <laughs> and I'm going to be fighting Grand So's Charmander. That was a mistake. Like, I thought it would make the playthrough more interesting, but now I'm actually thinking about what that's going to entail. Let's get ten of you. Well, let's get five. I'm not catching near as many Pokemon as usual on this playthrough. Take, take your time. Is there anything else I can do? Thank you. Alrighty, let's get myself a bug of any kind, and then release Bulbasaur into the wild. I don't want you. Go away, Rattata. Like, I have thought about just getting a bunch of Rattata plushies for my desk at work, just for the joke of nobody likes Rattata. I don't think it's anybody's favorite, and covering a work desk in plushies of Rattata is very funny to me. Um, 
If your favorite actually is Rattata, no, it's not. Stop lying to me. All right. Come on, I need a bug. I need a bug, a bug, bug. It's probably going to be a Weedle. I think red leaned heavy into giving you Weedles, and blue leaned heavy into giving you Caterpies. That cat When I get a Caterpie, it's going to save me on this playthrough. Whew, level four. Okay. I'll actually have a chance with a level four. Poison is super effective against Bug. So I'll have a good chance to actually level Weedle up here in Viridian Forest. Often found in forests, eating leaves. It has a sharp venomous stinger on its head. Do you want to give a nickname to Weedle? Nope. Come on, Weedle. You're my boy now. Everything is in place. Weedle is healed. Access someone's PC. Deposit Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, you have served me well. Your time has come. Once released, Bulbasaur is gone forever, okay? It's a very mild way of putting it. Bulbasaur was released outside by Bulbasaur, and now the real game begins. So we're going to go back up to Viridian Forest. Here's the thing. I can't just stack my party with a bunch of the same thing waiting to get the chance to, um... <laughs> to get some more versatility into my party. So what, basically what I'm saying is I can't just get six Weedles while I wait to find a Caterpie. This Weedle is the Weedle that I get for this playthrough. So this is going to be fun. Um, I do know on the Poison playthrough, Beedrill was a decent hitter right up until oh mid-game somewhere. I should have gone back to the Pokemon Center and healed... Oh, no, Wild Kakunas only have Harden. This will be great. Okay, come on. Maybe one more, maybe two more. There it is. <laughs> Level five. <laughs> Let's actually heal up. Because I'm, I'm not in great shape. I, I have a Weedle. That is a lot less potency than they expect you to have. D this old man. So I am much less combat viable than I'm supposed to be at this point in the game by the way that the game was designed. But hopefully I'll find a Caterpie soon. All right, let's head back up to Viridian Forest. Oh, trainer battle. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. Okay, the other good thing, this forest is all bug catchers. He has a stronger Weedle than me. This this is going to end poorly. Come on, bud. Just just sling a lot of string shot. I, I need... You, look, you're not playing the game right. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to use your useless moves while I use my good moves. That's how the game goes. No, you're not doing it right. I hate that he has two guys, and I also haven't bothered to go and uh, track down any potions yet. Duh. Okay, maybe he'll use String Shot the whole rest of this fight. He is poisoned. String Shot, String Shot. No! Okay. I should be at least level six for that fight. Lesson learned. Back to the forest. Boom! There he is. Dead. Okay, level six. Maybe I'll wait till I'm level seven to go fight that trainer again. I would love to catch me a Caterpie. Ah, another Weedle. Okay, level seven. Whoop whoop! Weedle's evolving! That's not how that's supposed to look. I probably need to figure out what's going wrong with this, uh, emulator. Yeah. I don't know all the rules around emulator play. I will say I own a copy of Pokemon Red. I've owned it since elementary school, but I have no idea how to screen grab off of it. And also, since it's battery-based save states, I don't even know if it still works. But I do own a copy. It is in my possession. I paid full MSRP for it. And it's mine. I have it. So, 
probably fine. I'm just now realizing I haven't been paying attention to the uh, PowerPoints of the moves. I can use Poison Sting three more times. If I don't poison him with one of these three, then the fights, I just have to leave. Because <laughs> I, I can't, I have nothing else that does damage. And he's not poisoned. I'm, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center, but this seems like a good place to call it for this video. The beginning has begun, and I will go back, I will heal up, I will come back to this ready to take on that trainer and hopefully find myself a Caterpie. So, plan in hand, let's do that next time. Um, let me know if you are liking any Let's Play content. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. I don't know if it's entertaining or not, but let me know. And also, if you have used Visual Boy Advance before, let me know what I'm doing wrong, because this doesn't quite look right. So, yes. All of that said, I'll see you later. Bye, everybody!